let's say we just start, right? So first of all, I had to uh, prepare my new guest, actually, I have here. It's Pierre, one of our uh, very talented uh, character design hello <laughs> artists or whatever hello you want to call them. Hello stream. Character artists. Character what artists. Say. That's yeah. what I wanted to say. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the uh, stream. Welcome uh, to the second anniversary of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Good job, us. Hooray! I wanted, I wanted cake or something or funny hats, but I didn't get anything. I got yeah. you instead. Who yeah. just <laughs> you will have to deal with me. The, yeah. what, you, well, one, <laughs> yes, yeah, I got one of the top three handsome guys in, at, at Warhol Studios. Yeah, so. You're the first one. Oh. Yeah, I usually don't know who's below me, but... <laughs> Nice to meet you, actually. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine. How are you guys doing? We have big plans for today. It, I came up yesterday in the shower with it, so usually these are the best plans, I guess, right? So uh, we will do some anniversary stream today, which means that I have a bunch of interesting uh, people coming on today. So we, we start with PF, for example, is representing the character design. I hope the sound and everything is good. Um, we had some issues with our new firewall. Unfortunately, OBS said no, can't go through that. Doesn't matter. Now we are here and we will start. Uh, long day ahead. And first of all, maybe it would be best to, because you are new to the stream i never had you on stream nope. that's first time for me first time streaming uh, ever just imagine we are alone here but there's like ten thousand yeah. people i know it's it's uh, pretty intimidating and it's it's amazing but it's okay or is it intimidating to sit next to me yeah both both a little bit right <laughs> don't worry man uh and we will we will i will actually play the game a little bit mm. uh just we continue with the with hardcore the mode hardcore mode exactly but it will be it will be just i don't know just background because we will learn something and uh, about kingdom come deliverance about uh, how we did stuff we will with dan i will discuss the kickstarter and what went wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> and uh with you we will verify this information exactly we will, we will verify <laughs> this information and with you i would like to find out how uh what's 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 the difficulty with uh character creation in general or <laughs> what the special challenges for is for kingdom come deliverance because they're as well, we know, one of the main challenges is like we have to make an open world, a living open world with a lot of living NPCs. Mm -hmm. These NPCs need to exist, so it's a lot of work to make their faces, it's a lot of work to uh, dress them. Of course, you don't want a bunch of naked NPCs walking around and you want them to have uh, different clothing enough so that it make, doesn't make you feel like uh, you encounter the same person. Mm. Uh, all the time. Yes. You know, Is there any in particular you you worked on on the on the unique um, characters? Yes, well, I joined the team uh, for the DLCs. Mm -hmm. and so I you came right after the release, right? Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. I did uh, Inquisitor civilian version mm -hmm. uh, for DLC four. I did um, the Nemex character for mm -hmm. DLC three. And for DLC 2, the only relevant thing I did was the Hamlet. You know, like the yeah. the necklace for. Uh, Yes, for uh, Carolina. 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 Yes. So yeah, that, that's the things I did for the DLCs. So okay. yeah, that's that's so. If we are talking about DLCs, that's a good point because we can trigger the. Oh, I have the music still on. Wait, help oh. me. Yeah. So I was saying like animals. Yeah. All those kind of things. You know, making the the dress for this character, making her body, making her hair, you know, mm -hmm. all of that is a lot of work and that was quite challenging for such a small team in KCD. Very important um, advice. Wake up, Teresa! And yeah, Ivan from Ukraine, but yes. he lived in Czech Republic for so long that it's pretty much Czech at this point. Yes, <laughs> established already. <laughs> established. How did you, how did you get wind of Kingdom Come? How did you, how did everything start for you? Um, well, I, I just, I just graduated, you know, and was... Where? In, in Belgium? In Belgium, yeah. And, uh, what did you study then? Uh, I actually graduated as an animator for um, video game industry, but mm -hmm. I also learned how to model characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really decided to push into characters because that's what I preferred to do rather than animation. Like. Okay, so 
We are now playing the Women's Love DLC within the hardcore stream I did anyway. But we have Teresa here, for example, which is of course a unique character. Is there? What are the major differences uh, between, let's say, a random farmer character you s we need somewhere on the fields and mm. someone who is like really unique? Uh, actually, we have to make every asset good looking because Henry can wear all those assets. Mm -hmm. So it's important that all our assets are equally uh, good looking. But whatever the character can equip that's yeah. what we mostly do we do like props but for specifically nice for characters where the environment they do the, mm -hmm. the the environment of course i mean you we have a lot of people here in the office especially mm -hmm. like joanna who we will meet later in the stream as yep. well yep. so a historian uh how much of an impact uh, uh, how many departments you actually have to work with i mean oh. usually usually the idea is i guess the designers dan vavra and they say well, we need i don't know yeah well executioner or yep. Inquisitor in terms of here yep. DLC 4. So sure. how does it usually yeah. start? Oh, I, I, I can explain that. Yeah. No problem. So basically what happens is usually uh, Designers they go to a Concept team yes. and they're like we need this character. He should be like this This should be his look overall look mm -hmm. and then concept they make a concept of the Inquisitor mm -hmm. They are the one who collaborate the most with our historian uh, mm -hmm. Asha or Johanna, Johanna. Yeah. Johanna. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, we still collaborate with Johanna because uh, for us as, as character artists, it's really important that the, um, when we model the clothes, mm -hmm. it feels as, as well historically That's accurate, not just on the drawing, but yes. on the, the 3D feel of it. That's the main thing about how we worked on, on the project is that we were also from ourselves in a lot of reference, mm -hmm. but specifically looking for clothing from this period and also preferably from this location, like mm -hmm. Czechoslovakia uh, in the medieval age, mm -hmm. but especially in the right centuries, because there's a lot of things that change, the material change, you know, of course, they couldn't do the sweater that you wear right now. The with, the that, with the amazing Kingdom Come logo, no, they, they couldn't, couldn't. They didn't, they couldn't, have, they didn't, they didn't have, have factories. The, yeah, they <laughs> didn't have the swag. Yeah, no, every, everything was man crafted and the fashion also is something that changed quite a lot in uh, the medieval time. Like an interesting thing, for example, in the medieval fashion is that the belt was usually oh, worn yeah. really high. Like we have this trend now to put our belts in the pants up to the hips, but back or then... Or lower, depends on what kind of music <laughs> you prefer. Yeah. Yeah. But back then it was really a thing to have this belt really almost where your belly button is. Let us check the... Oh yeah, here. Yeah, so you see. So it's, so it's like around her waist somewhere higher yeah, up. Yeah, it, was, it was a thing. But they wore the belts like in this weird shape like a, oh they yeah, didn't yeah. have the or the, the way how we use it today that yeah. you put it like into each other the yeah, belt yeah, yeah. they like, kind of wrapped they, it around that, that was a thing back then like was also a fashion thing uh, to to have this uh, belt can pull like, someone like, like <laughs> or whip <with laughs> someone whip <laughs> someone if you want yeah. funny games with belts <laughs> i never my, found this menu my before. email system just told me that i'm about to stream already oh okay it says well you guys know the one question that everyone will ask haha <laughs> like why are you so handsome for example <laughs> maybe something like that i mean who's alex person i don't know alex mm. christian we have an alex in the office maybe but that's him uh, yes there's... it's a bit it's a bit complicated with him okay <laughs> alex is complicated careful don't do, don't do crazy stuff alex the Twitch police is on you. <laughs> yeah. Twitch, the, inter the internet police. <laughs> the German internet police. Usually only Henry as a playable character, and now we have Teresa as a playable character, which of course also have some. Yeah, it was a big challenge. Challenges, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because what I I read somewhere that uh, the the issue with different characters uh, is usually not. It doesn't doesn't matter at. Well, we can only speak for Kingdom Come Deliverance, of mm. course, but you can usually you can, it's. It's not a problem about gender or race or religion or whatever. The problem with different characters and having playable different characters is their actually their size, shape, amount of limbs, and so on. So it, if it's uh, no, it, it's it's yeah. like for for us, it would be like double the work because we would have to have make every asset twice. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the big problem with it. And all the animation, you know, like you cannot just pick the 
male animation of walking exactly. and then put it on the female, you know, for example, because then you will have female walking like dupes, like, you know, like. Who has the last word? Is it Daniel Barbara who says, uh, great picture, but, or great person, but I need him to look more dangerous or whatever, or, or more grim or something like that? Probably more our art director. You know, yeah, that will take care of that. Mm -hmm. or, and give us feedback, you know, if, if the if how the material look or if, if it feels right, you mm -hmm. know, um, those kind of things. It's, it's, we, we we collaborate more with our art director, uh, yeah, on, on that level. Is there anyone in particular that s somehow caught your eye, or someone you say he he's he was particularly hard to create, or particularly easy, or he's oh, particularly he beautiful? In a way. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, the Divish character is pretty cool. Like, uh, you know, with yes. all the fancy armor when he's in full play armor, uh, outstanding work by our character artist. You know? What about the anim like face animations and stuff like that? Oh, that's the animators. Like so, you I mean, we do the blend shapes. The blend shape is the facial expression you probably for some people in the chat probably have seen those you know characters those big, doing those. yeah i had to do it yeah. uh, recently i saw on one of the screens i saw that you were also i guess test wise yeah that was the the yeah. rat lab for uh, yeah the rat lab <laughs> for the for the, the expressions the, the handsome rat lab <laughs> a bit but then of course you still have to consult concepts uh, especially our historian uh, to see if what we're doing is right or not. That's, okay. that's a really, that's the fun part actually of being a character artist in in Warhorse is, mm -hmm. is the fact that uh, on KCD we really had to pay a lot of attention to the uh, historically accurate clothing and all of that. And mm -hmm. also you learn a lot of things culturally, like to know how the clothes were made back then and all of that. So, what about you, Chad? Who, who's your favorite character look-wise? I'm not saying uh, the way how he speaks or how funny he is or whatever, just the looks. Who do you think is your favorite character? Let, let me give you a hint, something like, for example, the who, in my opinion, looked great is, of course, Sir Divish. He looks amazing, his mm. face and his clothes, but also uh, the Inquisitor mm. looks really good. Uh, Kuno we, also is pretty badass. Like, Kuno, Kuno is very badass. Yeah. Uh, who's mm. your, your favorite character, Chet? Hans. Hans, I see Hans Capon. Mm, Hans Capon. The cool thing about those most of the characters, like especially Hans Capon, is that he looks like Luke Dale because mm. it is Luke Dale, yeah, the yeah, English yeah. actor. You have an actor, let's say uh, Tom oh. McKay, yeah, and he he's supposed to become a character. How what you do with him? Well, how does it work? We're gonna put a lot of cameras on his face, <laughs> like a, a rig, we call it a rig, of it's like, it's a bunch of really like high-tech cameras, and all of this rig is called a scan, and basically what we do is scan his face, and then we need to clean it up, because there is some noise and perfection from the scan. I saw people, when they do that, they have a lot of yeah. dots in their face, what's the, what's the story behind the that? The dots is for... Um, uh, do that, dear. It's kind of like a guide for us mm -hmm. to know where to place the topology, the which is complex, but it really helps it's us with what I mentioned earlier, with mm -hmm. the blend shapes. Mm -hmm. you you know, it's oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. to see where the dots go oh, if you move, ah. or, you know, like your eyebrows. So oh, that, it's, it's more like a, a guide, yes. Yeah. You put the, the dots on, on specific bones or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, muscles it's, it's or something? Special, um, special like... Uh, face landmarks yeah, like uh, the corner of the lips, like the top of the lips, you know, all this that moves more. constantly. Mm. Uh, the eyes, you know, very important, the eyebrows, you know, because it can create <laughs> a face look, move way more than we think, sure actually. So some people are saying here Sir Radzik. So Radzik, we actually have Sir Radzik there in the back, if you can see it. Yeah, go, go step aside a little bit. This way, oh, this, this way, way, this way. This way. We have it's, oh yeah, you know what, we can actually, we can actually make a little uh, yeah, promotion anyway, because what, what we have here is this plate, and if, if you don't know what this plate is, let me just uh, make the screen a little bit bigger. Uh, these plates are actually huge as metal posters, which you can mount with magnets here in the back, and we have a cooperation with the guys from this plate. It's pretty cool, you can get Kingdom Come Deliverance plates like these and, and put them into your beautiful living room because who wouldn't want to have 
Sir Razek in his room. In his Over room. the bed. Over the bed, exactly. <laughs> parts, of, parts of his amazingness, if you can These call it like this, is the fact that he, is the, that he has the voice of reason. So uh, the, the things he says, it, oh shit, wrong, wrong screen. This screen. A bit like in real life. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the voice of reason behind him makes him also attractive in a way, I think. Mm. Displays, they're pretty cool. There's a lot of different Kingdom Come displays. Yep. And we actually added a new one today because maybe you saw it. We had uh, the codex. Uh, description of how to mount Kingdom Come and Demon Tools or whatever. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, if you want to, oh look, it's our boy Henry. Henry, Henry. Henry. <laughs> boy, what's up, man? Hey. Fun fact: Yesterday I got mail, or was it the day before? I got mail from an artist in Hong Kong mm, who sent us really hand-drawn pictures. Oh, wow. And she actually painted Henry in the way I think he's supposed to, like, he should look like. Yeah. He, he, like he's like 14-ish, maybe 15-ish. Yeah, 14 years old. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Like that, but that's already pretty good. That's really good. And in the end of the game, he's like this. So he, he matured. Yeah. yeah. Like he's seen some stuff some stuff <laughs> also also a younger Teresa I think it's it's really really good yeah, and it's really it's good. painted in a way and then the the Teresa and the DLC of course everyone matured your boy Hans, Hans yeah so it's pretty 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 pretty, so pretty what's cool the name of the artist? Uh, on Twitter she's called Susanna draws uh -huh. stuff I think Susanna draws stuff but tell me you as a as a person from Belgium and mm. being a foreigner. I mean, I am foreign as well. I'm German, mm. but yeah. I am able to fluently speak Czech. So yeah. how is it for you to Did live in Prague, to work in Prague, to yeah. work at what? Could you? Yeah, like, sure. Talk about it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, I first things is like, I, I try to learn Czech, you know, because it's easier when you live here to, to know Czech, obviously, mm. even though Prague is a really uh, international friendly people mm. uh, like it's usually Europe, people speak Prague English in Prague yeah. um, or German actually as or, well. German. or Russian <laughs> <laughs> Russian as well yeah, yeah it, it's 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 not that as hard as I expected when you know when I thought about uh, yeah, moving to Prague from Belgium you know it's, it's pretty it was pretty okay for me mm -hmm. it's it's fine I'm trying to learn Czech it's really obviously hard <laughs> it's really hard for uh, someone who's not from a, a eastern a Slavic country yeah. where because it, the, the whole the words yes. are completely different yes. everything is completely and that's the magic about uh, Central European and Eastern European languages, yeah. but with the Slavic languages. On, once you are able to speak one of them, you yeah, get an you idea. Master what, them all. Well, in a way, you get <laughs> like when when I talk to Polish people or Russian mm. people or whatever, I always kind of get an idea what they're talking about. Mm. And I have a fun story. Once I was in Russia on Igromir on the event, and I was invited to a live stream playing. I don't know if it was Kingdom Come or some other game. And they didn't, no one told them that I'm not Russian and they started to do the live stream and they were talking Russian, Russian, Russian. And I sat there, I said, oh crap, shoot. Gotta what? improvise Russian. Now. <laughs> exact, gotta improvise. And they asked me questions. I, I kid you not, it took me, it took them three questions to realize that I'm not Russian, but I understood the first, the two, the, the first and the second one. I understood wow. them I, and I always answered in English and they were like, he, they were like, what the hell, why the hell is he? <laughs> talking English and then the third question came out and, like, said, oh. and I said dude sorry I really do not I really do not speak Russian at all uh, what did you just say and he was like uh, you don't speak Russian I said no not a word how did you answer well Czech is kind of similar improvise improvise overcome, <laughs> overcome. <laughs> exactly improvise overcome adapt or whatever adapt overcome yeah, yeah. I still believe that I kind of get the idea what they are talking about because mm. the one thing I was always good at in school was uh, languages, languages and like social studies and stuff yeah. like this and I really sucked at, at math, <laughs> chemistry, <laughs> physics, all those technology stuff, drawing as well so I'm not an artist at all, mm. music is not my cup of tea mm. but sports and languages so my plan always was to become a sports journalist oh, yeah. really? and now I ended up in gaming PR. But that's it's pretty much the same now. It's a, it's a good, good <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. Yes, Christian, we're talking okay, to you. There is a question technically on, on, the, on the stream. I think, if you no, see I think there was a question, question is... for, I saw something with mocap and animation. And 
Oh yes, yeah. yes, I answered it on C. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, Christian well, did the job. Christian did the job. We, However, if we you underestimate it, if Christian. you see any in this interesting question, Chris, yes, it, uh, feel uh, free it, to. It 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 um, was a it was a question if the if the, um, the facial animation was mocap. Um, no, it was done manually. <laughs> You can. There's actually a technology. So we have we have our own motion capture studio, and but having a motion capture isn't the same like every mm. other motion capture. So you have to always specify to your needs and of course to your budget as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, so there is two yeah. things, right? There is like motion capture, which is the capture of motion. Yes. <laughs> like the animation of Henry as we see it, uh -huh. and then there is something called performance capture which is um, like you have a camera right in your face. So that's also the thing with the dots, you yeah, know, it, it yeah. tries to recognize the dots and it tries to ah, automate the animation process. They recorded three things at once, the voice, the mm. faces and the motions. Amazing. Yeah. And yeah. we did, we yeah, did, well, we usually we did two things. We did voice, voice and motion. Mm. Sometimes we did it with the, in the studio. Yeah. Yep. The the sounds I mean, uh, but we had three different kinds of people in the motion capture studio. We have yeah. ourselves, like you, for instance. You did also some motion capture, yes, right? True. For I don't know, walking, jumping over fences yeah, yeah, or some, whatever, some, like this. And then we had the sword fighters who yep. were doing all the choreography, everything that's supposed to look like action yep. fighting somehow. Uh, way, also, right fall, falling yeah, from yeah. the horse and these kind of stuff, everything that in a way kind of needs a, a stunt double, mm -hmm. let's yeah, call no, it like that. The crazy yeah. moves. And crazy the moves. Stuff, yeah. And the third guys were the actors themselves. So we had, for example, Tom McKay was here for, I guess, three months or so, um, which was pretty cool. And um, cool, uh, Pierre, uh, we are almost at the end of your yep. session, but yep. we are continuing. Don't worry, guys. The next people already lined up and waiting in the room. Yep. Next, I can see them from here. Is Martin Ziegler, Jan Rücker. So we will talk about script and uh, QA. And I called this part KCD Bugs Galore. Then I'd say uh, thank you very much, Pierre. Thank you. We will. Uh, I will just. Uh, Bye, just stream. Go. Wait a second. Wait, Before I'm you go, we have I'm to not. make it a little bit. Get it. So. All right. Wait. Give me another second. First part is over. Thank you very much, Pierre. Thank you, uh, sir. I hope you like it, guys. In the yeah. chat, do you have any fun. anything? You still you have a few seconds left. Do you have anything you want to ask? <laughs> back to work. Back into the. Uh, <laughs> Back into the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very important question. Favorite Czech beer? Oh, that's a that's a tricky question. You can make a lot of enemies now, <laughs> or a lot of friends. I prefer not to say. <laughs> okay. I, I like Pilsner and Kozel equally. Oh, Pil Pilsner equally? work well. Well, though Pilsner work well. That's a cheap question. A uh, cheap answer because these are Kozel. Uh, oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. Pilsner work well is like the mother of you all. Say Wukwell. That's the full name. Pilsner oh. Wukwell. Pilsner oh. is the type. Okay, the okay, name okay. of the beer is called Pilsner Wukwell. Okay. And but I said Pilsner and Kozel. Yes. Like I, the, the I know. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, two okay. times of. I just, right, I'm right, just right, saying right. that Pilsner I, is the mother of all beers in a way. Or all Pilsner type beers. So this is yeah, like yeah. the prototype. How do you call that when the zombie, the first one who became a zombie? Oh, the patient zero. Patient zero. So Pilsner Wukwell yes. is somewhat the patient zero. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Pierre. No I will make a small pause and in a second sure. we are back. See you soon guys Bye. with the new people Martin and Jan. See you soon.